One of the most common operations when you are analyzing data is combining two or more data sets. When we match rows from one data set to the other, we call this a join. You might think of this as a VLOOKUP or an index match in Excel. The four most common joins are the inner join, the left and right outer joins, and then the full outer join. To go over these briefly before we go into a practical example, we can see here that in this case, the inner join is about matching the X to the X, the Y to the Y, and the rows with W and Z get dropped. In the left join, we keep everything on the left table and take the matching rows on the right hand side. So for instance, X and Y join, we retain Z from the left hand side, but we drop W. The same applies for the right join where we retain the W, but we drop the non-matching Z. Finally, we have the outer join where we join whatever is possible and retain the rest. There's a couple other types of joins that you might hear. For instance, an anti-join. An anti-join is to find everything on one side that does not match the other side. So in this case, the Z does not match, and therefore that is the only row that is returned. And the converse of that is the semi-join, where we find everything from one side that does have a match on the other side. We don't necessarily take the rows from the other side in the semi-join, we are just identifying the rows which could match if we wanted to. Finally, there's the cross-join. The cross-join just says take everything and match it to everything else. So in this case, we have x, w, y, w, z, w, x, x, y, x, z, x, x, y, 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 z, y. And we don't really care whether it matches or not, we just create uh, cross pair for every single possible combination that exists. We can take a look at an example where we see fruit calories and fruit price as the two tables and we want to merge them together. We'll start with the inner join. So the join type is inner and the join key is fruit. When we take this result, we pull it out onto the canvas. We can see only three rows remain, even though there are four rows in both tables because there are no strawberries in the first table and no peaches in the second, and the overlapping apple, oranges, and lemons get calories and price glued together. If we want to keep all the calorie rows, we can always change this join type to left, and we can see that for peaches, the calories get retained, but the right price is missing. Similarly, if we go for a right outer join, we retain strawberries, but we don't have any calories for that row. If we want all five fruits, apple, oranges, lemon, peaches, and strawberries, then we do a full outer join. And we can see that there are five rows remaining and some of them are blank. The anti-join basically asks, what are rows in the first table that don't exist in the second table? Here, we can filter here and say, find me the rows where the right fruit is null. We return one row, we find out that peaches don't exist in the other table. This is pretty frequently used when you want to understand what data might be missing. 